Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are gonna do something like shown here. Really simple, just you know, really quick video. I have no idea why I'm, why I'm doing it. Let's uh, create new projects to have everything new. And let's go and drop. Uh, by the way, if you wanna get rid of the grid, you come down here under filter grid and you click it. You just get rid of it and world axis as well because they are just get they just get in the way first we create a plane we go to scale to we make it a little bit bigger by clicking and dragging um create a new cube scaling it down bringing it up a little bit or not keep it there to clone this i'm gonna use the cloner drag the cube inside the cloner we go under cloner options in to grid array we choose how much we want maybe 8 8 in y x and z and let's go to distance here and make it smaller maybe you can even do it here by moving these points that looks good let's bring it up a little and rotate it randomly like this maybe okay now let's go and give this these uh, dynamic tag let's go right click and go to simulate rigid body and do the same to the plane simulate rigid body so since we don't want the, uh, the plane to to be yeah so we don't want the gravity to be applied on the the plane we go to dynamics under dynamic we choose off and we're gonna keep this like this now if we press play as you can see it just sees us as one big object let's give these the timeline a bit more frames now we have to apply the dynamic tag to all these childs of this cloner we go to dynamic tag we come to collision and then we use uh, apply tag to children and in individual individual elements we choose all and there you're done but as you can see it goes everywhere so we should have some friction going on let's uh, select the first dynamic tag hold control select the second one to have them both selected we come under collision to friction and choose 300 and there we got we got it you can even like put these in a big a big something like this create cylinder make it into the wall go to faces try to sh delete, delete them to edges maybe Put this down a little bit oh. let's put the whole thing down let's uh take these higher and this one higher as well right now let's uh, go to the sphere we added and give it a simulation simulation tag or hit body same as we did before but now if we press play you're gonna see that it's gonna consider it as uh you know it's not it's not going inside so what we should do is go to the dynamic tag on the sphere and go to shape you have two options here either moving mesh this works for objects that move and static mesh for things that doesn't move like floors we're gonna use move mesh so we see how this is gonna work so yeah it's working pretty cool I think I'm gonna try static I think this is gonna work better yeah that looks cooler so what I should do or just to make things look a little bit cooler I'm gonna uh, 
go to select all faces I'm sorry and uh, go to extrude uh, create cups and then and give this something to work with we can even come here double click on the edge to get the loop to double two times to get the on both of these loops and then go to right click bevel and bevel this a little bit so that looks better now let's see what we got it looks better i like it let's give it a color maybe into darker probably let's give these cubes a color maybe let's make them blue or something like this why doesn't it work color blue thank you that looks nice I think I should I mean I don't like how they move so I'm gonna shrink this a little bit. Alright, let's keep it like this. Or maybe we have some some cubes falling them. I think that's gonna look cool. Yeah, that's better. And now let's move to rendering. Let's go to output. Let's uh, give it, you know, something not big, just to preview. Lock ratio or oh, 80. This is the resolution. Let's go down here to current frame. It's gonna only render the current frame. So let's uh, choose preview range and make sure it's the same as the timeline here let's go to save i just saw a video that says that it's better to use png and get them as photos and then put them together somewhere so we're gonna try that out desktop cubes falling and then i think that's it 480 i think we're good let's try this out let's just Okay, let's make this bigger. Yeah, it's not, not, not that cool, but we're just making a demo here, so that's okay. It's actually not bad. That actually looks cool. Let's try and add a lot or something. This is gonna take a while to render, I guess. Let's 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 check it out. It's actually not that bad. Wait, let me remove let me move the camera a little bit so that we get the parts that are falling there you go So that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, if you like to see more about Cinema 4D Dynamics, let me know. Maybe we do another video uh, about a car rig uh, with dynamics and connectors or something. That looks cool. And it didn't even take too long to render. So, thank you for watching, see you guys next time.